Howdy, I'm Nate, and these are the metric instructions for the free plans to the patio chair. Metric, something I am not super good at. <laughs> I use the standard system here in the US with inches and feet, and the rest of the world has wised up and found a nice system called the metric system, which we're clueless about. But that's all right. Here's the chair, and I've colored similar parts similarly. The only parts that aren't identical with the same colors are the armrests, as they are mirrored or flipped images of each other. But we'll get to that. Now the conversion from standard to metric gave some strange uh, decimals, so I went ahead and tried to correct everything by redrawing it using metric and I tried not to go outside of the tenth column on the centimeters or the tens column. Here we have the apron measurements and the slats. You want 18 of these slats and we'll put the apron together in this orientation and we'll put 11 slats on it. For 11 slats, here is your spacing. For the slats, the first and last slat will get two screws on each other, each side, and the interior slats will get one screw on each side. Here are the front legs and the back legs. The back legs are connected to the back rest. Oh, there we go. And we'll be doing this cutout angle on it, make it look a little bit like a boomerang. And that'll give us a back rest that has a bit of an angle. It's not so straight up and uncomfortable. So in order to cut it out, we'll follow these measurements. And we'll get a close up here. So we'll cut out this section right here from five centimeters all the way up to 38. And we'll do that on the interior as well and all the way up to the top. And then we'll cut off a couple different angles down here. I want this corner to be a right angle and removing 1.16 will do that for us on the bottom and removing 0.87 will do that from the top. Get the right angle here. Now we'll have two of these backrest legs made and we'll attach both the backrest legs and the front legs to the chair. Notice how the chair, the top of it, of the seat will be 38 centimeters up. That is not quite to the midpoint here. And on the back side, it is above the midpoint. Keep those in mind when attaching them, because if you try to match this up to here, the chair will slant back, and it'll slant forward if you do it on the other side. Next, we'll put some of the stretchers on, take two of the slats that we made earlier, flush to the inside of the leg edge and about 12 centimeters up. The backrest slats will be used, which are the remainder. There's about five of them, starting with the top one and moving down with the same spacing as used before. The arm support for the arm rests. We'll need two of those. And to make it flush with the backrest, you don't have to, but I like to, cut off this angle to allow it to match up perfectly and look a little bit more um, finished. Here we have the arm supports on there, and here is where it will be flush with that angle cut off. Otherwise, it'll come out a little bit and it'll be a little boxier, which is fine. It's part of the appearance. Now the arm rest, we're gonna make two of these and they're gonna be mirror images of each other. Once again, you don't have to, but 
If you want to add a little bit of style, cut off a wedge like this on both sides. And if you want it to match the back rest, we'll cut off a wedge right here. Now this is the upside down, so that's why it's colored differently. So realize that you don't want to cut down like that, you'll want to cut up like this. So that way this cut will match the backrest. Last thing we need to do is cut off the area that will um, occupy the backrest supports that come from the legs. And so we'll cut in the width of that as well as their lengths with that angle. So this angle does become important at this point where if you decided not to cut that angle, you're going to have to measure that um, out some other way. Because right now, you, this point to this point is equal to this point to this point, which wouldn't be so on the bottom side if you didn't cut that wedge off. This would be a longer cut in, and so you might just have to add that spot that we didn't cut off onto here. Regardless, once those are cut out, we can attach them to the chair. And voila, we have armrests, we have a chair. Paint and finish it to your desired appearance. And that, my friends, is the chair in metric. I hope it was helpful. As this is my first video with the metric instructions like this, please tell me if there's something I should know about the lumber that you have access to. So that way, when I design the furniture for metric measurements, I might be able to accommodate the standard wood sizes that you may have available, because these are based off of the standard wood size, sizes in the US, where we use wood that is in inches, uh, one by four inches, where one inch is actually three-fourths of an inch, and uh, one by four, uh, the four is actually three and a half inches. So we're pretty crazy over here, to say the least. But if you have some information about the wood sizes in your area, let me know in the comments. Let me know if this was useful, if you made a version of this chair yourself. Until next time, my friends, bye.